now. Breaking news from KXAN News. In the breaking news we are following this morning, a deadly shooting at a hotel in central Austin. Mm -hmm. Candy Rodriguez is out there on the scene because police are still looking for the person who's responsible. Now, police told us it happened in the lobby at the La Quinta Inn on the corner of I-35 and Canning Lane near the 290 area. Candy, the investigation is still active. What else do you know? John Zelly, good morning. Yeah, so let me break it down for you. As you just mentioned, the APD told us officially that there was a shooting here at La Quinta Inn right behind me and that it took place inside the lobby. They also confirmed for us that one person is dead and another is injured. While we were out here, we happened to come across a security guard, Jasmine Adams, who works here at the property. She's here once or twice a week, she tells us. She was an eyewitness to the shooting. She said she was patrolling the property here at La Quinta when she heard gunshots ring out, multiple gunshots, saw a man running towards her, towards the lobby actually, asked, yelling for help, saying, help me, help me. That's when she ran back to her car to get her nine millimeter because she does have a gun. She is a commissioned officer. And so she went back to her car to get that, ran back to the front of this hotel room, right to this, of this hotel, excuse me, to assist the gentleman who was yelling for help. They were finally able to get inside the lobby. Again, this is from Jasmine Adams, who is a security guard here. This is from her eyewitness account. She tells us that the shooting actually took place outside this lobby, outside this hotel's lobby. But again, as you heard me say earlier, APD is telling us that the shooting happened inside the lobby. Now, this is what Jasmine had to say. Again, keep in mind, she is a security guard, but she does look like an officer. The man on the, on the stairs in agony. And so I'm telling the cops, like, look, I got to get out here. Somebody done been shot. You know what I'm saying? I proceed to tell her, and then she goes on to tell me how to stop the bleeding. Now I'm about to pass out already. So again, Jasmine was out here when that happened, and she helped assist with that gentleman. We do not know. She did tell us it was a man in his 40s, but she cannot confirm whether it was the person who died or the person who was injured. We are still waiting to hear from APD. She tells us she only saw one person, and that was that man that she was helping treat. Again, we're still waiting to hear from APD to get more information on what exactly happened. Hopefully, we will hear from them soon. And as, as soon as we get that information, we will bring it to you live. Back to you.